A staple of the island's emancipence celebration is the Dembe Agricultural Industrial and Food Show. Plans are at an advanced stage for the 68th staging of the event, which is the oldest, largest and premier agriculture show in the English-speaking Caribbean. The annual event, which takes place over three days, will be held from July 30 to August 1. Marlon Samuels reports. Jamaica continues to import a significant amount of meat to supplement local production. The island reportedly imports in excess of 80% of what it requires in terms of goat meat and lamb chop. President of the Small Ruminant Association of Jamaica, Trevor Bernard, says the meat industry is valued at billions of dollars. Right now, we only produce, I think, about 15% of goat meat locally in Jamaica. We are actually importing all of this money. Can you imagine if we just keep all this money here in Jamaica? We need to push up the production. The livestock industry, which is an integral part of the agricultural sector, plays a major role in Jamaica's economic development. It is estimated that the industry contributes a little under 9% of gross domestic product. We're trying to, to, to grow this industry, modernize the industry, and make it better and stronger that we can offset the billions of dollars that is being sent out of this country. Since its inception in 1952, the Denby Agriculture Show has been the premier avenue for livestock farmers to showcase their animals. Livestock competitions are also held in part to help farmers improve their livestock. Despite the lifting of COVID restrictions, there are reports that some livestock farmers are not planning to showcase or enter their livestock in competitions. The news has evoked strong feelings. At one end of the spectrum, cattle farmers are reportedly not enthused about showcasing their animals. At the other end, small ruminant farmers are pressing ahead with plans to display their animals and have them take part in planned competition. But generally speaking, a lot of farmers are looking forward to competition. Can you imagine over this COVID period, they sit around two years, a lot of farmers keep getting involved, more and more farmers getting involved into farming, a lot of young people, women and so forth, getting more and more involved in goat farming. And they all out there want com competition. They just want this bragging rights. They want to come and show that I have the best animals. This is something that is, has always happened. The sheep competition will be held on July 30. The goat competition is planned for July 31. And we look for certain um, things in the animal in terms of, I'm going to just point out a few, a few things. The, the, the length of the animal, one. Two, the capacity of the barrel to hold feed. Three, the width of the chest. In other words, within the chest area, we have the, the, the important organs, such as the heart. So if you have a, an, an animal with a small chest, a narrow chest, it reduces the animal's ability to perform well in all cases, right? We look for the animal's stance, we look for the animal's um, um, head, head space to see, to, to identify breed, to identify um, how well the animal fits into that breed profile. All these things are, and a number of other things that we look for. But at the end of the day, the farmer will leave there knowing more about what to look for in producing his animals to produce animals which are going to bear him more kids or more lambs because we don't want um, animals that are only producing one lamb or one kid per dropping. We're looking more to get up to numbers of two and three and, and above. So that, that is what we're looking for right now in terms of improvement of, of the animals, the animal um, structure that we have presently in, in Jamaica. There will be plenty of experts on hand to answer your questions at the 68th staging of the Denver Agriculture Show, being held under the theme, Grow Smart, Eat Smart. For the news on PBCJ, I am Marlon Samuels.